going live, you're live, how do you do? That awkward moment when nobody's here and I just have to wait, but no, uh, someone's gonna see this later on when they watch it again. So I decided that when there's nobody here yet and um, I'm in this awkward moment of like, people are gonna see this when they watch it again, I'm just gonna sing. Okay, nobody's here, but there's two thumbs up. I don't get how that works. Hey, Amy. Good morning, Melissa. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. Why are you doing 5 million hundred live videos when you're supposed to be doing non-live videos? Hi, hello, Michelle. And as I don't wanna mispronounce your name. Sometimes you guys have really hard names and then sometimes you guys have like usernames that are really hard to pronounce. Watching from Roseville, hey, super close neighbor. Okay, so I am shooting like tons of videos. I just wrapped up like the intros to them all. So tons of videos coming for you guys. Hi, Lizanne. And we're drinking coffee. And I wanted to show you guys these. Um, I wanted to give you guys a faster sneak peek, a, a better sneak peek of both of these shoes. This is a tutorial coming up. I just wanted proof. Like I am shooting you guys tutorials. I'm not just gonna do live videos forever. Hi, Angela. Hey. Robin, good after it's morning here. I think yes, it's it's 10 30 That apparently that's morning to me now. I just really I got done shooting like 40 different intros follow me on Instagram Okay, I will do okay. I'm secretly hoping to run into you sometime not creepy or anything. No, totally um, I go to Hobby Lobby in Roseville a lot um, Do you? <laughs> We could totally meet up. I don't don't secretly hope I secretly hope to meet up with any of the people who watch my channel ever. Uh why WI, what is that? Wisconsin? I think so. Hey, 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 Sawa. I do, I love them, Jillian Harris. Okay, yeah, I go to Hobby Lobby either in Arden or Roseville, depending on like I normally go to Hobby Lobby on Fridays after a date with my husband and we go like after we eat, we'll eat in Roseville and then we go to Hobby Lobby cause I force him to buy stuff for my videos with me. Hi from South Florida. Hey guys. Okay, so I wanted to talk about Beauty and the Beast. We started kind of talking about it yesterday. Hi from the UK. I don't I don't want to ruin your name still. As Asima, As Asima? I don't know how to say that. Okay, so I want to talk about Beauty and the Beast because we saw it and I'm gonna warn you right now if you have not seen it, um, you might not want to finish watching this right now. Hi from Florida, got it right, Asima. Okay, cool, I can read. All right guys, so this video came out, right? Thank you, Caring Hands, Loving Hearts, for enjoying my videos. I've watched all your videos. I actually made some tutu costumes I saw. Cool. I made a lot of tutu costumes this last October. So, um, yeah, I've been stockpiling videos like crazy for you guys. So I have stuff and I don't leave you guys hanging while I go to Africa, which I'm going to be doing a lot of live videos talking about Africa. So those will be coming up. Um, they're so easy to make. I know. Good morning, Rob. Good morning, Josie. Hi, Josie from Dallas, Texas. Thank you, Jacob's, Jacob's mommy. <laughs> oh, you just spelled it differently. That's awesome. Hey, Katie. Okay, so Beauty and the Beast was amazing. It was amazing. If you have not seen it, you need to go see it. But I wanted to talk about LaFou, okay? So everyone started talking about LaFou. I love the movie and I couldn't help but sing along. Can you do a video on cardstock and save the day ideas? Josie from Montana. Yes. Um, make sure to comment after this so I see like requests from you on things that I wanted that you want to do because this stuff all disappears. Can't wait to hear about B and T B. Beauty and the Beast. Okay, got it. B and T B. Yeah, Beauty and the Beast. Love the movie. It was amazing. So the singers were amazing. The actors were amazing. The um, the story was amazing. Uh, Emma Watson was amazing. Everyone was amazing. Everything was amazing. Loved the entire thing. But um, some people, that's weird since I make tutus since I'm a guy. But I don't let it bother me. Don't let it bother you, dude. Make tutus. Okay, so LeFou. Now, LeFou was talked about long before the movie came out. Okay? Because he's gay. Let me just tell you that. Uh, apparently he's gay. My husband didn't even, I know Emma Watson was so angelic. She was amazing. And I just loved that they chose her for Belle because she like really 
made Belle even stronger than Belle already was. Um, so LeFou is supposedly gay. And I say supposedly because there's really nothing in the movie that talks about the fact that he's gay. Whatever. Let's talk about LeFou, not the fact that he is gay. LeFou was my favorite character. I feel he was gay even in the 91 cartoon. I know, he was kind of like, he was just like that. He's always, he was always obsessed with Gaston. Um, I work at the daycare center and my kids love the costumes. Awesome. Yeah, make them tutus, dude. Just make them, make them all tutus. Uh, craft, if you're a guy. My dad actually um, sews and he crochets. So just make stuff. It's cool. Um, but, okay, so LeFou, I just feel like I wish people could get around the fact that he was gay. Like, there was so much more to LeFou's character that that wasn't even needing to be processed. First of all, if you're a Christian and you're afraid to go to a movie because a character is gay, then you should be afraid for your kids to walk out the front door because there's going to be, like, gay people everywhere in their life. Um, I'm actually thinking of making a DIY channel. Cool, do it! Let me know what your channel is so I can subscribe to you. I love DIYers, um, obviously. So, um, okay, so LeFou, I want to talk more about him. First of all, his voice is Olaf's. Like, I couldn't get over that fact that his voice was Olaf's. Like, way more than the fact that he was feminine or gay or obsessed with Gaston. His voice was Olaf. So, like, if I closed my eyes at any moment, all I could see... Um, Jesus would be the first to accept him. Uh, so on point with what you just said. Okay, so every time I close my eyes, like, okay, so in the song, when they're, you know, singing the song, no one fights like us, da, 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 he's like dancing on this, um, table and like literally like my face flashed to a, a like a, a snowman dancing on the table because his voice is so distinct that it's Olaf's voice. And I was like, Okay, good and bad, it's hard to really like take my mind off of Olaf when his voice is Olaf's voice. But second of all, I love Olaf. So I loved Gas or uh, LeFou a little bit even more because it was like Olaf. And how can you not love Olaf? So, right, snowman, says Julian Harris. So um, he's dancing and, he, and I love him, but really like LeFou was in love with Gaston, apparently. So after we got done watching the movie, people were talking to us about it and people had read these articles. My husband doesn't go on Facebook very often, so he didn't know that these articles were being written about don't see Beauty and the Beast because there's a gay character in it and whatever. But um, he was like, he was gay? <laughs> I was like, yeah, he was like in love with Gaston and then in the end he ended up dancing with the cross-dresser from the movie, whatever. Um, but he didn't even catch on to that. It was, like, so fast that it, like, you didn't even notice it. So it's, there's so many far, um, I get the Little Mermaid song stuck in my head. LOL, I love Beauty and the Beast. I get, I always have a song stuck in my head, always, at all times. It's kind of annoying to me. Like, I'm always singing every minute of the day. But... LeFou, he, so he's such a, a, a funny character because in the beginning, you know, he's a follower of Gaston. He is, he loves him and he just wants the best for him. And even though he supposedly loves him, he tries throughout the whole movie to still get Gaston to be with Belle. People are worried about kids seeing it and my five-year-old didn't even notice. I know, my, my kids wouldn't have even noticed. Um, my husband didn't notice. And I don't know if I would have noticed if I didn't have had the like pre- view of all of it and the the concept that everyone was talking about but um it was so he's just this beautiful friend to Gaston because even though he supposedly is in love with him Gaston's not gay so he didn't expect Gaston to fall in love with him he always he kept going for Gaston's wishes which were to marry Belle but then throughout the movie, he starts to realize that Gaston is a big jerk and he's really putting so much time and effort into this jerk and he really shouldn't do that. Um, who do people think is better looking between Auntie Tay and Trisha Paytas? I don't know who that is and I don't really care because I don't really care who looks better. Um, so anyways, um, I just, um, yeah, I... I fell in love with LeFou's character because, totally off topic, but I bought a cricket. Thanks to you. Awesome! Yay! I think we'll have to, I'll have to meet you eventually, right? So we can make cricket stuff. So, um, okay, so 
then in the end, this is my only spoiler I'm kind of giving away about this movie, but in the end, he ends up, you can leave now if you don't want to be um, spoiled, but he ends up helping save all the little guys in the castle when all, you know, all the villagers are attacking. Um, and that's just like, it's just a, it's just a beautiful story for LeFou. And I loved his character. I loved how much he, um, was a good friend to Gaston. And then, uh, even have noticed controversy except we were warned to watch out for it. Right. That's why I was kind of like trying to look at it from like an outsider's point of view. Like if I had never read it, like he made little subtle comments about him, but he could have just been really obsessed with his best friend. And even if he wasn't, and even if he was gay, like I said, you cannot shelter your children from gay people. They're going to be gay people no matter where you go. And you know what? As Christians, we're called to love everyone, not hate anyone. So why would we boycott a movie with someone in it that doesn't live our lifestyle? That's ridiculous. So it's just like, I don't know. But uh, I definitely, definitely loved LeFou's character. And that's all I wanted to talk about about LeFou. The movie itself was amazing love everyone hate the sin exactly and um and the bible also says that if they're not living your lifestyle then you can't push the bible's uh word onto them you know if someone doesn't agree to christianity you cannot take christianity and make someone live to that to those rules that's just how it goes until they accept it and say this is what i want to do um then then and only then can you start talking to them about that stuff. So with any crafting needs in our vi crafty village, we need to forgive others to get forgiven. And we we shouldn't even have to forgive someone for being gay. They're, that, that's not um, offensive to me personally. You know what I mean? Like, why should I have to forgive someone for being gay? Like, you're gay. That's between you and your own personal stuff. For me to forgive them what did they ever do to me um to make me have to forgive them anyways so we were supposed to be talking about beating the beast and we got off off topic but basically i really did want to talk about about, blah, blah, about lefou because i feel like lefou is in this world right now where lots of people get stuck they get stuck on well he's gay it's like he's not just gay he was a great friend he was a great character he was a great singer he was a great um redemptive person in the end he became he came on the good side he was dancing in the end um we were brought up to love everyone yes so it's just like if you look at someone and say well they're gay boycott the movie it's like then boycott school boycott going outside go boycott anything because all those people if you think that they're personally offending you because of their lifestyle then you're gonna have a lot of work to do on yourself and trying to forgive everyone so we are not here to judge. There is, I mean, we are not here to judge. All you can do is help people realize if they're doing something truly wrong that they've got to work on that themselves. If it's not hurting you personally, step back because it's not your job unless they need help and they want help from you and all that good stuff. So I'm so, so confused on what's going on. We're talking, I'm Catholic and I've taught my son about religion, but I bought the, or but I, Bought them, told them about my family members who are LG Okay, so I don't want to keep going with this like LGBT gay stuff because it's just a really interesting subject that um, people who doesn't have a gay person in their life is missing an adventure. Um, yeah, so just off of that, we were talking about Beauty and the Beast and we were talking specifically about LeFou. If it doesn't affect you personally, then let it go. Oh my gosh, I made a frozen pun. Yep. Let it go, let it go. Okay, so I also wanted to process out loud with any of my Walt Disney lovers that are here um, ideas that you guys have, and I'm going to write them down, and I'm also going to um, save the comments. So if you guys want to comment right now, any ideas that you guys want me to do for Walt Disney Wednesdays in the futures, um, I've been like so consumed with Cricut stuff and I do put a lot of Disney stuff into them, but I realized like I haven't done a lot of like just random Disney stuff. So if there's any Disney type videos that you would really want to see, um, let me know and I will get those on the list of things that I need to do and uh, work on. So 
you guys can let me know or we can talk about it in the comments after this video goes on live live so anything else about the movie i just i was really obsessed with it after i got done watching it it was my favorite it wasn't my favorite cartoon as a bit video or as a kid sorry i'm trying to read princess and the frog and picture frames so it was the video that came out when i was a kid and so it was like one of the newer princesses when i was little and i remember getting out of school and going to watch it in the theaters it's one of the very few videos that i got to see in the theaters so i definitely like shelled out the money to take my kids to see it because we don't really often go to the movie theaters we'll either go to the drive-ins because it's so much cheaper or we will wait till it goes on dvd and then we'll watch it at home and make a movie night out of it but it was something that i shelled the money out for because i was like this is the video the movie i do that a lot i do things selfishly for my kids that like bring back memories for me i was like i got to see this in the theater so you guys get to see this in the theaters watch it yesterday night and take my clients today bell's character with the you can use the six millimeter in, in the Cricut. You cannot use the thick craft foam in the Cricut. It will not fit. That's why any Cricut video I've done with foam, um, I've double layered it, I've cut it, and then I've put it together, which is just as good. And um, and I've actually done it where I put like the fabric on the outsides and then I stuff between the two thin. I'm having a baby and it's a girl, so maybe something with babies. Fun quotes of cute things to make for babies. Okay, so um, and yeah, just keep, Keep the comments going with those and I will go back and read them all and save them and get some ideas because usually I am like bursting out the seams with Disney ideas but I've been doing cricket stuff so much that like the Disney stuff and my mind on like Disney stuff that you would take to the park and stuff is just um, not really fresh and really for me it's like a snowball like I start thinking and then I it gets bigger and bigger and I get more creative with those types of things and um I haven't had my mind on Disney very much. So anything that you guys want to see. So yeah, that was 17 minutes. These live videos are always so long and I don't know, I, I mean, I like watching people's live videos, but uh, baseball season is full effect. Anything sports formulated. I have a whole video of sports stuff and I showed you guys these shirts. Um, so I'm doing, Actually, my daughter's sick, so my friend wasn't able to come over this week. We were going to shoot baseball, softball stuff together, but I did get a couple things done. I will show you. Do a life book for your baby. So, remember I showed you guys these shirts in my haul that I did? Um, I got these two, and this is a way I layered vinyl or a iron-on so i will do a video on how to layer iron-on that will be coming for this and then this is part of the softball baseball this one says kiss my cleats and both my girls are number eight this year so and then this one i did um little sister eight so she can wear this to her sister's games and then all about that base on the front and this is a graphic that I bought. And I just bought like a ton of SVGs. I'll put a link in the description. I bought like uh, this website that I found. They had like all their 2015 and all their 2016 SVGs for sale for like 10 bucks. And I got like probably close to like a thousand SVGs. So it was the two layer, two layer glitter iron. How do you do it to it? get it to it here you just iron it together so there's that's actually going to be a video a specific video how to layer iron on when you do it so i'll go into detail on that but so someone asked like baseball season softball seasons in full effect so i just wanted to get let you guys know that was like one of the videos that we're doing r2d2 <clears throat> mickey head iron sorry i'm dying <coughs> not really i'm not dying i'm just coughing <laughs> sometimes people take you literally when you say that um so yeah so I just wanted to chat about Beauty and the Beast and let you guys know that videos are coming probably next week, Monday and Wednesday, they will start. It's okay, I have 15 hour work day and you're keeping me entertained at work. Keep the videos coming. I can get glitter iron on to adhere to glitter iron on. Um, Let me see. So glitter iron on to adhere to glitter iron on. Basically what you really wanna do is just 
hold really firm and one thing I do with glitter iron on is I do not put fabric in between the plastic I know I'm a bad bad example but with my glitter iron on it doesn't melt and it just really makes it adhere even more so I don't even put fabric I just go right on top of the plastic and I iron it and I hold it and I hold it firm almost until the plastic starts to like wrinkle up and shrivel up and then it really adheres it's like it's stuck on there real good it's not like it's not like coming up at all. So it's glitter on glitter and then the glitter is on this ribbed t-shirt. If you're doing ribbed stuff, you definitely want to press very firmly so that it sticks into all those little edges. Glitter iron on is my favorite. It's my favorite thing to work with. So those are coming. Um, yes, but Disney stuff, if you guys want specific things. I know Mickey ears, I need to do a lot more. Maybe I'm not just pressing hard enough. Yes, press hard and hold it for a good moment on each little spot. And then even um, once you take the plastic off, go over it on a lighter setting and just go on top of it. The glitter iron-on doesn't melt that easily, so you can really attack it with your iron pretty good, and it's not gonna it's not gonna come off. So, all right, I set mines on high. I set mines on high too. I. Uh, I make mine as high as I can go. Not so much with the non-glitter iron-on because that will melt. I like to see wedding and anniversary ideas. Can you do etching on glass somehow with Cricut? I already did that video. I did um, how to etch on glass. So that one is up a few weeks ago. You can look through the Cricut tutorials. I followed your Mickey ear tutorials just wondering how do I attract an audience to sell? Um, use Etsy. Etsy and Pinterest are like the two main places that generate a place for people to find you. So Etsy, I like to use Etsy for the specific fact that there's so many people on there. And then um, I will create like a bunch of listings with different photos and then I share all those on Pinterest. I use the heat press 160. I do not have a heat press. I'm not, I don't do t-shirts and stuff that much that I need a heat press, but if you have like a business where you are selling t-shirts, a heat press is something that you will definitely want to invest in. Okay, so do you plan to do speedball shirts? Um, I know you talked about the angel policy with Disney, but can you go into more detail? So the angel policy is a little iffy. Um, I had a lot of people saying different things. I did clarify with people at Cricut that the angel policy does cover you being able to sell stuff, but there is um, a limit to what you can sell when you do that. Um, so someone said they bought a heat press because they have four little girls and it was a good investment. So if you do do t-shirts enough, maybe a heat press is something that's something that you wanna purchase. Um, but with the angel policy, I would read over it and decide for yourself if you think that that's something like, I know you can sell like a certain amount of it, but I got a lot of people saying like, no, you can't do that, you can't do that. So I would just look into that. Okay, we have a bad connection and I think that is my final cue to exit today. I have a lot of stuff to do. So I will be back on a live video to talk about Africa and I will be back with real videos next week because I have a ton that are all done and ready to go. Okay, I love you guys. Bye.